agora. Thanks. Don't be shy. One smoke won't kill you. I said no. Hey, little. Wait a minute. You're that girl from school, Lassie. And you're that brute who was mocking Ray. Did you just call me a brute? Oh, now you're dead. After all these years, finally I get to. You shut your mouth, fatty. You shut your ears. I'm bigger than you. I know, but I don't care. If you touch her, I'll. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Lyosax guy! Haha, <laughs> sweet! I saw you on TV a while back, man! You rock! Can you sign my belly? Uh... Sure? Haha, <laughs> oh, sweet! Sorry, Ozzy. I didn't know you were the girlfriend of a Lyosack. See ya! What was that all about? Now you guys are famous or what? Is everything okay, Vince? Well... Dad's dying, so no. I mean, why? The moment everything's fine, the next, for some reason, he's... Oh, Vince. Anyway, I have to return to the hospital now. It was nice seeing you. Uh, wait. What is it? I'm not leaving your side until I see a smile on your face. You said that to me once, Ella. Yeah was the sweetest thing someone ever has said to me, and I want to make up for that. Thanks, Ozzy. This means a lot. Can you hear me? Oh, you're back, Vince. How was... What is she doing here? Oh, not this again. She's cool, Emmy. Dad is dying here. The last person I want to see is Ray's ex-girlfriend. Well, at least it's good to have someone who's on the same page with me around here. Dad's dying and I have no clue why. And you sure as hell do. There's a lot of things you're not ready to know. You're too immature to even comprehend what's going on. You can't hide the truth from me. You can't. Not anymore, Emmy. You tell me right now. Emmy. Are you sure, Dad? I should have done it years ago. <laughs> All right, Dad. Vince, remember when we lived in Canada? Of course. Life was great until Mom left. You have it all wrong. But yeah, life was great. I sure remember we all got along extremely well. Even you and me. But Mom and you had a very special bond. She always treated you like you were her little prince. Every time she went to the mine, you'd cry in your room for hours. Don't say those things in front of Ozzy. I actually think that's cute. <laughs> oh. Go on then. Yeah. Things were great back then. On December the 1st. Mom left Dad because he was a weirdo, I know. Don't bring it up. Mom didn't leave Dad, Vince. That's what we told you because of your affection for her. Emmy, what are you saying? That day, Mom was at the mine. Just at the moment they discovered a new and strange mineral. Little do they know this mineral was explosive. The whole mine buried in an instant. And all of the zone was covered with radiation. When Dad received the news, he didn't even think it twice. <laughs> he drove to the mine and ignored every warning he received to get Mom out of there. He knew he might die from radiation, but the slight chance Mom was still alive in that mine was enough for him to move every rock that was in his way. After hours, he found her. <laughs> but it was too late. How can you hide this from me? We never intended to. I went to the hospital to see Dad, and they told me about the accident. But you were fishing by the lake, so you knew nothing. After that, 
They told me what Dad did and that Mom had died. I really nearly lost it. I thought that if I continued to love others, I'd be weak because of what happened with my dad. When you realize how much Mom's death affected me, he couldn't dare to tell you. Instead, he invented a story and told you she left him. You hated Dad because he was trying to protect you. He gave you someone to direct all your anger to, and it was him. And then one day you just left. You were supposed to buy some bread, but you never showed up. I actually got lost, but once I found Ray, I chose to never return. I even called him dad to us because, well, I saw a father I always wanted in him, but... Oh God, I mean, this is too much to handle all at once. I know, and I'm sorry for not telling you this before. You know what? You should be. Vince, wait. Hear me. Yes, Dad? Don't let what happened years ago define your life. Ray's a good boy and he loves you. Don't let him go. Loving someone can bring pain sometimes. But it's the good moments that make the hard ones matter. Dad. Um, I have some bad news. You, you have to forgive them, Vince. You think I'm angry at him? Ozzy, I've treated my dad like a monster my whole life. I hate myself. All the things I said about hating him, how can I make up for that? You still have time to get closer. I don't know if he'll ever forgive me. After all I've said... What is it, Doc? Tell me. I'm sorry to say this, but your father only has a couple of hours left. My apologies. Vince. I've been to the dad for a long time. Maybe you should be with him now. Emmy, I... Please not now! I'm not in the mood! I don't want trouble with you. I think you're cool and I'm happy raised with a girl like you. Just wanted to say, take care of him. There's only one Ray in the world, so... You know... Forget it. Thanks, Ozzy. I... I think you're cool too, and I'm not jealous anymore. You're, you're not? I see the way you look at Vince, so, just say. Vince, what are you doing? Where is he going? How do I know? My brother's crazy. I'm not letting you die inside that place, Dad. Just hold on a little bit more. It'll be fine. He's not answering. Why could he be taking your dad? Wait, I think I know. Come on. Some things are just meant to be left as they are. 
We can't drag the past with us forever, son. Because you'll only get bigger and heavier. You still have much to do with your life. Travel around the world, make new friends, fall in love. Make it so that one day you can look behind and know it was all worth it. I'm so sorry, Dad. I love you so much. I don't tell you this too often, and I wish we could have had some more time to make moments like this together. And I don't need a million moments like this. Just one minute with you is enough to make me happy. Dad. This is good. Isn't it? Sorry for leaving like that from the hospital. I just didn't want to waste what little time I had. It's okay, big brother. Sorry for your loss. Thanks, Ozzy. He died happy. That's all that matters to me. Hey, Vince? Yes, Ozzy? I really like your new t-shirt. Yeah, I think it was time for a change. I'm glad you like it. I mean, you look really handsome with it and all. Uh, gee, thanks, Ozzy. You're a great friend. Now where should we go? Let's find Ray. I have something to tell him. Alrighty then, to Ray we go. Whoever that is. I'm running. I'm running. 